And that's written Holy Scripture. How not to go to hell. It is written in 1 Corinthians 9.27. But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection. Lest that by any means when I have preached to others I myself should be a castaway. When the God sent preacher teaches and preaches the word of God to all the world and every creature in it, we first teach and preach to ourselves. Brother Carl can't teach and preach to folks not to sin, but I'm doing sin. Brother Carl can't teach and preach to folks not to have respect of persons, but I have respect of persons. I could go to hell for that because that's a hypocrite. And the hope of the hypocrite is no gain when God takes away his soul. Job 27 and 8. As the scriptures say in Romans 2, 21 through 24, Thou therefore which teaches another, teachest thou not thyself? Thou that preaches a man should not steal, doest thou steal? Thou that says a man should not commit adultery, dost thou commit adultery? Thou that a horse idols, dost thou commit sacrilege? Thou that makest thy boast of the law, through breaking the law, dishonest thou God. For the name of God is blasphemed among the Gentiles through you, as it is written. Everything I preach to every creature in all the world, Mark 16, 15, I teach and preach to myself first, then to my own family, my friends, and everybody else. Folks gonna live and do what they want to. But I'm still going to say and live by what God said. The scriptures say, For God so loved the world, John 3, 16. Yet, God knows that the whole world lies in wickedness. 1 John 5, 19. The scriptures say in 1 John 2, 2, And he is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Yet, Jesus Christ still knows that the world hates him and will hate his disciples also. John 15, 18. Folks don't go to hell because Jesus Christ doesn't love them. Folks are in the flaming torment of hell, Luke 16, 23, 24, because they reject Jesus Christ and his words. And hell is where they are cast into awaiting the last day judgment. John 12, 48. Isaiah. 514, Revelation 2013. Eternal salvation is for all those that obey Jesus Christ. Hebrews 5 9. I have not seen, ear not heard, nor entered into the heart of men, male and female, the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. 1 Corinthians 2 9. The blessed man endures temptation, for he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. From James 1 and 12. God has chosen the poor in this world that are rich in faith and heirs to the kingdom which he has promised to them that love him. James 2, 5. When you love Jesus Christ, You obey Jesus Christ. Now, for all those souls who honestly and sincerely don't know, I'm going to tell you today how not to go to hell. Number one, don't defile. Number two, don't work abomination. Number three, Don't even make a lie. This is an urgent message and the Lord wants you to understand it clearly 
before it is everlasting too late. Don't defile, as the scriptures say in Mark 7, 20 through 23. And he said, that which cometh out of the man, that defileth the man. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness, all these evil things come from within and defile the man. And again, it is written in Romans 1 26, for this cause God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Don't work abomination. Written in Leviticus 18 22, thou shalt not lie with mankind as with women can. It is abomination. As it is written in Deuteronomy 22 5, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. Written in Deuteronomy 27 15, cursed be the man that maketh any graven or molten image an abomination unto the Lord. The work of the hands of the craftsmen and put it in a secret place. And all the people shall answer and say, Amen. Don't work abomination. As the word of God says in Proverbs 6, 16 through 19, these six things doeth the Lord hate, yea, seven are an abomination unto him, a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, and heart that devise wicked imaginations, feet that be swift and run into mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. Don't make a lie, as the scriptures say in Revelation 21 8. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Jesus Christ loves you. Jesus Christ loves you. Jesus Christ loves you. The Lord has no pleasure in the death of the wicked. In Ezekiel 33, 11, I'm begging you to obey Jesus Christ and don't go to hell. Repent and believe the gospel. Amen and amen.